Today, we're going to talk about advanced balance skills. So this is aimed at people who want to do something a little bit more adventurous than just walking across a room, walking uh, in their house, but want to be able to manage uneven ground, slopes and paths in the garden, maybe in a country park. Uh, we're going to cover some theory, yawn a little bit, but uh, it's very short, so bear with me. Writing and saving reactions and equilibrium reactions also. I'm only really going to deal with the first two today. Writing and saving involve movement and equilibrium is about keeping still. And that will only really affect people after stroke if the stroke affected the rear part of the brain called the cerebellum and they have what's uh, medically known as ataxia but presents as uncontrolled movement rather than paralysis. Weaving, people who have this sometimes are mistaken for being drunk. It's unfortunate that these things happen in the outside world. So writing and saving responses. You may need to start these in a much more controlled environment. I very often get people to work in the corner of their kitchen units. Nice and sturdy, very difficult to fall. And that can be a very nice way to get underway. Today, we really are aiming at the most advanced people. So it's uh, outside and just with a, a plain stick to help if need be. Pop that to the side for a moment. And if I am disturbed in one direction, what you can see is that it, if it's slow, that my head tries to come back to upright. So it's called a writing response or writing reaction. So just demonstrate that again. So the slower I go and then I have to use my leg as a counterweight like so. If I go too far, that develops into the step across. And the step across is the saving element. If somebody bumps into me in the high street or in a shop and it's sudden and unexpected, uh, then what happens is I have to step across to save my balance. I don't do leaning. It's like this. That's a saving response. So it's good to be able to do it in front, that's the most common one we'd use, but you might need to use it behind, where you step behind. You can see my pink foot's gone behind my yellow foot. I'm not going to go into equilibrium responses, but the bottom line of it is if you're working on the first two, then the third one will improve a little, your ability to keep still. The exercises that I want to particularly mention are pretty difficult. If you're not very confident of doing these, then it's a good idea to work with somebody who's sturdy, agile, probably young, young adult, and wearing some form of a belt, a protection belt, a handling belt. One element of writing responses often left out is the idea of the pelvis writing itself underneath the upper body. So one element that we must start to work on is again make sure you're well protected uh, either by immediate surroundings or by something sturdy like a, a high stick here, could be a ski pole, could be an ordinary walking stick. To make our pelvis behave well underneath our chest and upper body weight, one simple activity that we must be able to manage is the stand on tiptoes. 
tiptoes and down. In line with the seven secret S's, it has to be able to be done quickly. That's on two feet, of course, and then can it be done on one foot and the other? And ultimately, can it be done without hand support? And can it be done no hand support and on one leg? Can you get on tiptoes at all? There are a couple of very specific tasks that it's worth working on. The big step forwards. I'm using a high step. If you're beginning this at home, you might be using the bottom of a staircase, just using the very bottom step, holding on to the upright newel post, and that would be, uh, that would be one way to get going. Naturally, going on to any step, I'm going to want to use both legs. So I've just done right leg and I'm probably going to want to match that up with up onto left foot as well. Now, as we're doing this, as I step forwards, the eagle-eyed amongst you will spot that my head at first probably wants to watch my foot. But then really what we want is the head to stay upright and really quite still in space. So it's not lurching like that. If we do that, the world starts to look very disturbing. That can be made worse if eye control isn't good. I'll put a link in the bio for the, uh, for the video on eye exercises. So steps forward is one, steps to the side is the next version. In the house you might go just onto one low step, the bottom of the staircase, again with that one. by the heaviest part of our body, our hips and bottom going backwards. And uh, if we're displaced, we're pushed here, we have to be able to arch a little bit backward. So head and shoulders go backwards. That obviously has to be counterbalanced by in the heaviest part going forward. All exercise programs should contain exercises that are at least thinking about what I call the seven secret S's of training. And they all begin with the letter S. So that's strength, speed, skill, stamina, surge, suppleness, stretch, and I'll list them in a screen to come up in a moment. How we're going to do that is, again, be accompanied if you're not sure of uh, doing this, be supported with either some form of stick, or if it's earlier in your program, again, using something like kitchen units or between two sturdy chairs, you could use that kind of surrounding to make it better for you. And what we want to be able to do is to begin to do things like jumping, Small at first and on two feet. That would be the goal. It might not look like that at first. It might just look like a little lunge so that we're beginning to use speed and surge. Acceleration, in other words, to make our muscles do the different things that they need to do. If walking simply along a flat surface, quite slowly, it looks like, and we would call it slow. But as the foot starts to land here, the muscles in my shin, as it happens, have to switch on really fast in order to catch me 
and then start to lower. So they go from absolutely a minimum amount of work, suddenly, very quickly, into strong contraction, and then they've got my body weight, and as I lower my body weight forward, they, uh, they control the weight going forward, or help to control the weight going forward. So we need all those seven characteristics working in our muscles. So, jumping. Your feet might not get off the ground at first, but gradually you might be able to do it still with some support. And then, important is to start to include the writing of the head. And that means, in effect, jumping slightly to one side and leaving your head vertical. So these are the kind of exercises that you're going to need to work on to get to the most advanced levels. It takes a bit of confidence to get started, but it will also give you confidence as you keep working and as you keep walking further or into more adventurous surroundings off-road, busier places, more people, more challenging surfaces, and of course longer distances or steeper slopes. I've covered the seven types of exercises. But also, every training programme should also consider sustenance and sleep. They also conveniently begin with S. So sustenance is about nutrition, and sleep is sleep, which we tend to think of as just switching off. But for the brain, really sleep is quite the opposite. It's the time for restoration. During sleep, a whole range of things in your body change chemically. The hormones that govern major processes in the body, they change. So hopefully, for example, we make less urine at night so that we're able to sleep through. That's the plan. And if you're sleeping well, it works very accurately. If you're not sleeping well, then you may find that your bladder is one of the things that disturbs you in the night more than it ought to do. So that's one thing to think about when it comes to any exercise program. Not only do you have to do the work in the day, but you have to be ready for it as well. Thanks for watching. Do like and subscribe and hit the little alarm bell signal as well so that you get a notice when the next video is posted. I'll try to do two more each week and keep you up to date with the latest developments.